Hello everyone, Avid Marcus, aka okay, Marcus Antonius here, and we're talking about Persona 5 rumors. That's right. Now, rumors are starting to come up that October through December is the uh, bracket in which the release date will be made for Persona 5. Now, some are saying that since they how they uh, do their business, they're saying sometime next week we should hear a release date about Persona 5 in that October to December range. Now, some are also speculating that in November, the D23 Expo taking place in Tokyo, Japan, is also going to talk about Persona 5, and that where they're going to announce the announced date for December. Now, as much as I would love to have this game this year, as much as other people would like to have this game this year, I worry a lot because of their marketing. I'm not sure if their marketing is going to push this game, and push it to the moon and say, hey, this is our next big title. This is what we've been making for a while, and we hope you buy it, and we hope you enjoy it. You know? And also, if they're going for a potential release date in November or December, that holiday season where people are panicking and trying to get the perfect game for their kid, they're not going to be worried about the uh, game like Persona 5 because they're gonna, only going to bother about the holiday blockbusters. And it's going to get... Persona 5 and then all the other games push it down to the bottom and the only people who are going to care or are going to pay attention is us, the consumer. Now it's also up to us, the consumer, to tell other people that if it is a good game, which it probably is, then we should tell people, hey, it's a good game, buy it, it's worth your time, it's really fun, you know, all that other stuff. And another thing, Sony hasn't said a damn thing about it. The last thing they said about said uh, anything Persona 5 related was an event in Vegas. And they briefly skimmed over it. Like, oh yeah, that game's gonna come out sometime. We don't know. Mm -hmm. But, instead of twiddling their thumbs, hoping the Nathan Drake collection does well on the PS4 this holiday, and then uh, Uncharted 4 does well next year, they should say, hey, Atlas, you know, you wouldn't mind, you know, you know, giving us release day so we can hype your product and we can say hey this is another Sony exclusive as far as we know it's still a Sony exclusive but hey it's a Sony exclusive why don't we help you market it because it is on our console and say hey everyone go buy this game it's a Sony exclusive and everyone likes to talk about exclusives so this would be a nice addition to the, the collection of uh, exclusives that are for the PS4 now I really hope this does well, but at the same time, I kind of wouldn't mind if it was delayed to 2016. Now, I'm not saying, you know, the summer or the fall of 2016. I'm saying the first quarter. I'm saying February. I'm saying March. I'm not saying January either, you know, but they need to pick their shots and they need to pick them now and hope that things go well and they need to be smart about this or else they're just going to be lost. And then it's going to be like... Oh, hey, Persona 5 came out. whoop de doo You know? But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Like the video if you like. And I'll see you guys next time.